Kenwood TK3701, which is a great little analog and digital PMR446 radio. And as you can see, it is very, very small and light and very similar to the existing radios we have, the 3401s here. The 3701 has a great little feature, which is very, very useful. Uh, one of the main issues you have with PMR446 digital is the interworking between analog and digital. And that can be a little problematic because you have to change zones to go from analog to digital. Well, the 3701 completely resolves that issue. And what it allows you to do is to have two PTTs. So you have your normal PTT on the top here, and then underneath you have a second PTT. You can then decide which PTT does what function. In this one, we have set up the main PTT will start a digital call, and the second PTT will start an analog call. So if I push PTT and talk, one, two, three, four, five, you can hear I am now coming out on the digital radio. You can hear a slight delay, but no background noise. I can immediately push the second PTT, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, and you can hear that that's an analog signal with no delay and a little bit of background noise. In the reverse direction, when a call comes in, the radio will automatically switch between the two modes. So if I now call with this radio, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, that's a digital call. When that call is finished and someone on your analog fleet keys up, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. You can hear that call coming through. No action needed on this radio. All you need to do in the normal way when a call comes in is push PTT to answer. You don't need to use a second PTT. It really is that simple. So what's happening under the hood is that the radio is set to scan. So it's scanning between the analog and the digital systems. And it is also uh, configured for a particular channel here and a particular channel on the second button that will allow you to transmit. Now on the primary button, you can change channels and it will work, and then leaving your analog fleet on a particular defined frequency. You will need to program the radios via PC to do this with a programming cable, which is a standard Kenwood programming cable. And this simply plugs into the radio on the side here. And then with the programming software, you read the radio, reprogram it, and put it back into the radio. First thing you need to do is run KPG 202D. Once that's run, go to the program menu and read configuration, and that will read in what's currently set in the radio. This only takes a few seconds to happen, and that's read, and it pops up the screen to see what's going on. And we can see that channel one is analog, channel two is digital, and the rest of the channels are various other analog and digital channels. So if we look at edit scan information, it will tell us that the radio is scanning priority fixed, which is channel one, zone one, and the power on scan is enabled. So that's good. We then look at edit and optional features, which is one common page four, and we will see second PTT channel zone one is channel one, which is what we expected. So if we look at the channel layout here, we can see second PTT activates this channel, and then the channel knob will allow us to select those 15 channels, and we can select those and Channel one is always active in the background because it's being scanned and the second PTT will activate it. Once that's done, that's all that's needed. Program right configuration, right to the radio. Again, just takes a few seconds to go. And then the radio is fully compatible with analog and digital PMR446 systems. If you would like a copy of the config file that we've uh, put in this radio for this demonstration and a little bit more information on how exactly to program this, then please contact Kenwood and we'll happily pass that to you.